Hi everyone. Today I am going to discuss about dose normalization concept which was uh, used in my non-linear pharmacokinetics part 1 uh, video. So maybe there I have used this term dose normalization. In this video I am explaining how to calculate dose normalization using Excel practically. Hi everyone. Today we will see how to do dose normalization. So this dose normalization is nothing but when you have given different doses and want to see whether it is linear or non-linear by superimposition principle. So how to plot those curves? So I have selected five doses here: 300, 600, 900, 200, and 1500. And this table shows the plasma concentration profiles at various doses. So now from this, I will show you how to calculate the normalized dose. The formula used to calculate the dose normalized concentration is equals to the concentration observed at particular dose multiplied by the lowest dose of that particular group divided by dose taken. So for lowest dose no need to calculate uh, normalized dose and from next to dose onwards we need to calculate the normalized dose. So for that I am showing you in excel sheet how to do. So insert the formula bar equals to then take concentration observed. Here the concentration observed for 600 doses 20. So I am opening a bracket then select this close the bracket then multiply with the lower dose of the group 300 divided by dose taken is 600. So this is the dose normal concentration. If you drag this like this you will get for each and every concentration. Similarly if you drag this horizontally you will obtain the concentration but you need to change a little bit here instead of 600 you need to take 900 then you will get concentration of doses under normalized conditions for 900 similarly you change here to 1200 then drag vertically you will get all the concentrations here you change it to 1500 and then drag vertically you will get the concentrations now we will see how to plot the plasma concentration time profiles so select the time bar and then press control select the time bar first and then press control and select the concentrations then go to insert scatter charts and then you select this line bars so all the series values see 300 600 900 1200 1500 etc everything is plotted here but only we are seeing only one color why because that is the last one which are all superimposed to one another that's why we are not able to see all other things okay so but in the second case see i have used the same formulas the observed concentration multiplied by lowest and uh, multi divided by the concentration taken. So same formula as above I have used and I have plotted already these con sorry I have calculated all these concentrations. Now we will plot and see this like previous graph select the time points then press control and concentrations. Then go to insert scatter line charts you can see clearly the difference between this graph and this graph in past case they are superimposed that's why we can see only one graph this indicates linearity whereas here they are not superimposable and the concentration decreased which shows non-linearity with respect to dose so this is how we can find out by giving the drug at different doses determining the plasma concentrations like this and calculating that plasma concentration using the formula which I showed uh, for dose normalized concentration and then plotting this which will give you a superimposed graph linear and if it is giving a non-superimposed graph then it is non-linear.